So I'm gonna be showing you um, another method that I use to germinate seeds. Last week I sowed a few seeds. I sowed um, geraniums, I sowed beacon um, impatiens, and I also sowed some marigolds. And so far it's been already a week and the seeds have not come up. So I decided to do this method because I know that this method works um, a little bit better with, um, with seeds that are too super tiny and um, also with seeds that you're having a hard time um, germinating, especially for beacon and patience, which beacon and patience, which these are, see how tiny these seeds are. These are really, really tiny seeds and these seeds need um, light to germinate. So the method I'm gonna be using is called the Petri dish method. And I always get really good germination when I do it this way, especially with impatience. So the things that you're gonna need are um, some little souffle cups. These are um, two ounce cups that you can just get um, at a dollar store. You're gonna need some of these. And then you're also gonna need some of these lids. You're also gonna need um, paper towels, um, scissors to cut the paper towels, some water, a Sharpie to label your label the little cups, and you're also gonna need a little spoon. Okay, so the first thing that I do is, you, you're not gonna need a, li a lot of it, so what I do is I just cut them into little strips like this, and then um, after I cut them into these little strips, I also go in and cut them even more into more little strips like this. So you're left with something that, that fits in there. And the same thing with these. So I'm gonna give these a little cut. And it doesn't have to be perfect just because it's gonna go in these little cups the the main objective of this is to keep the seed the main objective of this is just to keep the seeds um, moist and it provides light for things like beacon beacon and patients that need the light to germinate so the main um, is just basically creating a little greenhouse within the little souffle cups and then I just grab a couple of uh, a few little strips of the paper towel I'll put it in here like this then I'll grab a little tablespoon of water and you just want the water to be um, just you want the water to be fully saturated and then basically what I do is this so that this is just a little compact in in the little in the little souffle cup so this one is done so I'm gonna do that for the rest I don't of really these. Know how many I'm gonna do but I want to have enough, just enough, so I have enough seeds. Okay, I think that's good right there. Okay, and then just, the main thing is you don't want the, the paper towel to be sopping wet. If you, if you get it a little wet, basically what I do is, I just wring it out a little bit and this is the way it's supposed to look like that okay same thing with these I'm just gonna do these all together that way it's easier for me when I go to put the seeds in each one and I'm not having my hands wet all the time this one needs a little bit more water this is a really super super simple way to also um, see if like for germination rates as well. These um, these seeds that I have are a little bit older, which is probably why I'm having trouble um, germinating them. So this is another good way for you to be able to do um, germination tests. I've had really good success by doing this, and um, most. Most of my seeds, whenever I do it this way, especially for beacon and patience, I have more luck doing it this way than I do um, sowing it the traditional way. Okay, and then the last one. So 
so this is pretty much what you want you want something like that see okay and then pretty much everything else um you just do it like if you if you sewed it in um, normal soil i'm just gonna go ahead and sew all of these and if I have all of them germinating, then they all germinate. This, I don't really know what happened that the other ones didn't germinate for me. I'm still hoping the other ones will germinate, but these, um, see, this is the way it looks. And sometimes I'll even like, Okay, and then all you do is close it up and then you label, you label what it is, which this is impatience, impatience, beacon, and then I'll, I also, I also put the day that I did it. And then these are seeds. These are seeds that I got from Pine Tree last year. And I got really good germination with them last year, which is why I decided to do the again with the traditional method. But I, and it's nothing to do, it has nothing to do with the seeds. Um, it has everything to do how I um, was watering them. And I think the seeds might have gotten dislodged. So this way I know for a fact that these will germinate for me. So I got these from um, Pine Tree. And then these are seeds that I gathered from, from last year. From, from plants that I, that I had last year. And hopefully these will germinate for me as well. And the same thing, see, just sprinkle it in. I'm gonna be super generous just because these were collected, these were collected and I don't know which ones are gonna be viable and which ones are not gonna be viable. Sometimes I'll even um, tap it in like this. And then I'll close them up. <clears throat> these are collected seeds and again I'll put the date on it all right I'm just gonna do the same thing with these and hopefully I'll get better germination from these just because I really like the, the look of marigolds and I, I absolutely love um, impatience because they do really good in my yard. I just hope I can get these marigolds to germinate for me. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm a little bummed. I'm still hoping the other ones are going to germinate for me, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, these are, okay, these are called French Double Dwarf, and um, here, are the, here are the specs for these. They don't really get that big, which is perfect for what I want them. I want to put them in my um, veggie garden to deter, um, to deter pests. This is the other one. This one is called Mexican Marigold Alaska, and it's supposed to be like a buttery yellow um, marigold, which those are really pretty as well. So... Okay, just make sure that the seeds make contact with um, the paper towel. And these are, like I said, the Mexican marigolds. So I'll be able to determine which ones are viable and which ones are not viable. I'm 
hoping for at least half of these. If not, I'll be happy with whatever I get. But I'm hoping for at least half of these to germinate. So we'll see. And last are these seeds that I collected from last year's um, uh, last year's um, plants. I'm gonna use a different pod. Maybe that that's another reason. Mm, these don't look good. Okay. All right, and I'll show you where it's going to go. This is pretty much where the seeds are going to live and hopefully they'll germinate i'll for me. try to keep an update on whether or not i got them to germinate i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for watching bye